Hey, this is Eric over at Techno RV, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the advantages of the smart plug connector and inlet electrical plug versus the typical twist lock style plug that we have on this RV right here. So let's start with the typical twist lock style electrical cord uh, and inlet that you see right here, and you'll see this on uh, most RVs. And this design has been around for a long time, but it has some design flaws that I want to talk to you about. So I'm going to go ahead and take this plug off of this Class C here. And the first thing that I want to talk to you about is the curved shape electrical pins that you have on the inlet side. Uh, the curved shape electrical pins means minimal surface contact from the plug to uh, the inlet and whenever you have minimal surface contact that means that the electrical transfer is not going to be as efficient and it's going to generate more heat. Another design flaw with these uh, twist lock plugs is the locking ring. Uh, they are often prone to cracking and even stripping out and when that occurs uh, what you have is your plug will begin to uh, put a strain on the electrical pins in the inlet and that will make those electrical pins prone to breaking off and at minimum you will have less contact electrical surface area and that means that the heat will be driven up on the plug. Another typical issue that you have with these twist lock style plugs is that it's generally not a tight fit. There's usually a gap that exists between the plug head and the inlet, and that gap can create stress on the electrical pins, and it can also affect the contact surface, again, driving up the heat on the plug. There's also some just usability issues that if you talk to enough RVers that use this style plug, you'll hear about it, and that is just making sure that this plug is installed properly. Because of the twist pins, it's not a given that you are plugging in correctly and making good contact between the plug head and the electrical pins. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and kind of show you here. The first thing that, of course, you need to do is line up the curved pins like that. And then the idea is that you would then twist down now I'm already running into, into an issue, not sure I'm connected properly. And now I twist down, okay? So I feel like I'm on there now. And then of course now I gotta deal with the locking ring and already I'm cross-threaded. And I got it that time. And that should be installed properly, but from a usability standpoint, uh, it can be quite frustrating whenever you uh, show up at your RV site and uh, trying to get the twist lock plug installed properly. And then, of course, if you start having uh, stripping of the threads from the locking ring, then that can create issues as well. On this particular uh, twist lock plug right here, it's kind of got this 90 degree turn right here, which I actually kind of like that on this. Uh, a lot of them will just come straight out and it seems like that even creates more stress on the electrical pins. Uh, on this one, now that it, it's installed, I, now that I'm looking at it, this 90 degree turn, it's uh, really not, it, it just doesn't look like it's straight. So uh, what that tells me is I'm not 100% sure that I've got the twist on the plug uh, done correctly. Maybe I do, it kind of feels like I do, but these are the kind of problems that you have. It's like you can install this or plug in whenever you get to an RV park and you're kind of left with thinking, is that properly installed or not? So now that we've talked about the typical uh, twist style electrical plug, uh, we're going to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, smart plug uh, connector and inlet onto this Class C RV. And so when we come back, this will be installed and then we'll talk about the advantages 
of the smart plug uh, head and inlet over the typical twist style plug. And when you get your smart plug from Techno RV, we do have a install video uh, that we'll send to you to make sure that you're successful installing your smart plug. We've got the smart plug installed on this Class C now. And uh, so uh, the install uh, video that we did for this, uh, you will get when you uh, purchase your smart plug from Techno RV. We'll just send that to you. Uh, so let's go ahead and just talk about what you're getting here. First of all, uh, you remember the process of just uh, plugging in the twist lock style plug and how kind of clunky that was. Uh, those days are gone with the smart plug because all you do is just plug it in. When you plug it in, these two clamps pop out to lock it into place. Then you just pop the top down on it and literally, that's it. So uh, anybody that's been out there messing with one of these twist rings uh, and the twist type plug, wondering if you got a solid connection, uh, those days are over. Also, you remember we talked about the uh, surface space of those curved pins. Well, the smart plug doesn't have curved spins, uh, pins. Uh, they use uh, nickel plated brass, a high quality nickel plated brass uh, and you are going to get great connectivity. It's going to reduce the heat on your plug because there's 20 times more surface area uh, from the electrical pins to your plug head. And uh, that, again, that extra surface area is going to make for great electrical transfer from the power pedestal into your RV. And uh, again, the install from this point, pop it in. Close it, smart plug, you can get it at technorv.com. And I don't want to make any assumptions at what's on the other end of your power cable, but uh, you need to make sure that you've got a surge guard total electrical protection system like this one here. This one's designed for 30 amp RVs. It's the 34930. Uh, the newest model is the 34931. Uh, and uh, for 50 amp models, you want to be looking for the 34951. We've got lots of videos on the Techno RV YouTube channel to describe in detail what these units will do for you. And uh, go over there now and check it out.